Incredible video captures a Michigan State Police trooper and the man he was chasing as they fall off a bridge. And amazingly, both men are okay. Tonight, only on ABC 12, we'll give you a first look at that video. It was a week ago tonight that the trooper was injured as he attempted to grab the man. It's the same man who had just led police on a high speed chase. Tonight, both men are recovering from their injuries. ABC 12's Terry Camp in the Tri Cities newsroom with more of this video. Terry. Matt, Saginaw Township Police helped the state police stop the suspect, and it was their dashboard camera that caught the trooper and the suspect going over the bridge. This is video from that Saginaw Township Police car. The officer behind the wheel helped slow down the suspect's van. It just so happened that one of my officers positioned himself on I-675 northbound and was able to use the stop sticks that we carry in our patrol vehicles to deflate the right front passenger tire of the suspect's vehicle. But the chase continued. Eventually, police made a maneuver to stop the van on the bridge. The camera captures a suspect out of the van on top of the guardrail and the trooper attempting to grab him. They both go over the rail, falling about 25 feet at about this location on the overpass. Both of the men landed on a grassy area. The trooper has a back injury, but he is home from the hospital. The 41-year-old suspect has a broken leg and wrist. The Stanish man was on tether for an alcohol-related offense in Bay County. Police say the chase started when a trooper tried to pull him over for defective equipment. Saginaw Township Police Chief Don Passell says it's possible the trooper was focused on getting the suspect and may not have realized where he was on the overpass. You don't know what's going to happen. It happened so quick. As you can see in the video, it's within seconds this, this incident occurred. And so not a lot of time to think it through or whatever, just more reactionary in nature. Now, the suspect has not been charged for leading police on the chase, but is in jail on a probation violation. In the Tri-Cities Newsroom, Terry Camp, ABC 12 News.